right, so we have no time to waste. We are on a time limit to do these. So, hey, Munchlax. Guess what, buddy? I got a bunch of berries for you. Oh. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's, why, that's why I spoke to Munchlax. I still really hope that they actually explain why Munchlax has a connection to my phone. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm not going to go for the Yanmas because, ah. Uh, I don't really care about getting shiny Gabites because I have a lot. I mean, I have multiple shiny Gabites from Pokemon Go. You know what? We'll go do the Yanma first. We'll probably go do Yanma. Then I think we'll go and do Ghastly. And then I can remove that. Then Gabite. And then Mime Jr. And then Elec. Bronzo is one I really want to get. Shiny Bronzo would be really, really cool. But all right. Let over here first. Um, we'll get... Uh, a Gliscor to do the dirty work for us. Hello, everybody. Guess. Hold on, I can do this first. For the aggro, for the aggro, for the aggro. Damn it. All right. It's annoying when you have to battle them one by one. Like, I wish you could just get them all to aggro on you at once, which it's very, very picky whether it wants to do a multi battle or not. Like, I know you have to get them all to aggro on you like this. Yeah, hello. Hey, you. You come over here. Come over here. Hello. You want to fight me? Want to fight me? That's it. Come on. Come on. Everybody get nearby. And then if I do that, am I getting all three of them? No, see, just the Animega. They were all in, like, the same range, and I threw the Pokeball in the middle. So why did it not do a multi-battle? Oh, ow. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can't, like, die if you keep getting hit by Pokemon moves in a battle, so... You can just stand in front of your Pokemon and, like, take Hyper Beams to the face and be like, ah, I'm fine. No, no trouble at all. Alright, we'll hit an Aerial Ace here. I'm trying to think, like... What... DLC could be for this game. I feel like it would just probably be new areas. Like, there isn't really much you can just add to the story, unless you wanted to add some uh, other legendary Pokemon. Like, it, obviously the story doesn't have to be about time and space anymore. But I'm trying to think, like, what, what Pokemon could you theoretically, like... What legendary Pokemon could you add to the game and have be, like, the big bad at the end that's the boss battle? Uh, I feel like I feel like adding the Kanto birds would probably make sense because if you look, I pr I'm like I'm pretty sure I remember reading like leaks or I don't know if it's even leaks. It's probably just like you know somebody said something and it's been spread around. It's been like this is a leak and this is going to happen. But what I remember is that uh, Game Freak want like 400 Pokemon to be in the game. Right now there's 240, which means there's 160 Pokemon that could be added in a DLC. If you look at the map, like the big, big bane map, all these areas were covered with clouds. Like these clouds here, that makes sense because it's the top of the mountain. But all the areas you could visit were covered by clouds. If you look at the map, Iron Island, I think it's called Iron Island, where you get the, um, where you meet Riley and get a Riolu from, that's covered in a cloud. This area we've never been to is covered in a cloud. And the uh, battle resort area is covered in a cloud. And there's also a cloud here. Like, they could add four new areas. They could add Iron Island for a bunch of, like, ground and rock type Pokemon. Ground, rock, and steel type Pokemon. They could add this area we've never been to. And add, like, cool new Pokemon. And, like, I feel like they could probably be, like... Maybe an island down here and then like part of the battle, battle, battle resort area here. Or maybe just like a generic island because I don't know if the battle resort would... No, it would definitely be the battle resort. Like they could add like, you know, Moltres is here, Articuno or Zapdos is here, Articuno is down here. You know, they could add the free birds and then they could add maybe like, I don't know, Lugia and Ho-Ho down here somewhere maybe? I feel like that would be... That would make sense if you wanted to have a big bad and like Lugia and Ho-Ho are the big bad at the end. Because otherwise, like, what do you, what do you really add? Like, if there are four areas, 
160 Pokemon, you have to have like a boss battle at the end because that's what this game's all about now. I kind of, I kind of hope that maybe, maybe they do something with the Bandit Clan and they're like, the Bandit Clan is like, I don't know, like, oh, uh, let's go to, let's go check out Ghastly Shaw. I think it'd be nice if, like, a natural progress of the people in this game, the story is like, the Bandit Clan arrives on the mainland and, you know, they, they live on the four areas that I point out and they arrive and it basically adds battles. Because right now you can find the four band the three Bandit Sisters just out in the world. But imagine if like multiple um multiple bandits and like they could set up like little bandit camps around and you could like, you know, battle like a bunch of trainers there. Or I guess like a bunch of bandits. Or maybe like the big area down the um down the bottom left of the map, they like there's some sort of um civilization there that are basically further ahead than the Hisui or the Jubilife Village people are in like terms of battling and they have like you know their own little battle competition or something like obviously this game doesn't need battling it's not about battling but if they added like a very very primitive sort of battle resort sort of thing where you could just go and do multiple battles and get rewards for it you know that's like that's basically infinite content you just keep going there you know that's like the hey all three of them cool that is the post game in um, uh, the mainline series of games. So, you know. Because right now, if you want to battle and earn money, like, if you could go there and earn money, that'd be great because, you know, you'd be able to just go there, do a bunch of battles, earn money rather than have to explore and go to specific spots to find the Bandit Sisters and farm nuggets to get money really easily. But I feel like the Iron Island, I feel like the bottom left, the bottom right, and then the sort of battle resort area. I feel like if they were going to be DLC, those would be the areas, and that's why they're covered with clouds. Because I just want new places to explore, you know? I feel like, from what Game Freak has shown about the Gen 9 stuff, like, Gen 9 stuff looks, the kind of the overworld looks a lot better. Like, when you see these trees, like, that's really kind of... Is there another ghastly around here? Oh, over there, yeah. Like, that's really just kind of... You know, indie developer putting out their game on Steam Greenlight sort of thing. It doesn't look good, and like... At least the trees in the Gen 9 trailer actually look decent. I mean, I don't think the graphics overall look any better than this, but... They definitely put more effort into making the game look good. Than they have this game. Because it's like, this game was cl I didn't finish the Yanma one? Okay. Um, uh, let's go to... You know let's go and search for Alekid and then Bronze or then. So we'll go to the Summit Camp. But yeah, Gen 9 I'm kind of optimistic about because it's open world and they... Hopefully they've, you know, this game was definitely like an experiment for them if they can get basically the game concepts and everything working but it's going to be more it's going to be a more traditional pokemon game of you know go along routes and battle pokemon and train and defeat gyms and stuff which is fine you know oh really you all saw me um nice score you come out battle all four at once please hey good job all right cool but um yeah, they, they probably won't be like the sort of catching system is th that's in this game, which kind of is a shame. I would like it if you could just, like Pokemon clearly are roaming around in the grass and stuff. It'd be nice if you could just still throw Pokeballs without having to battle them, like in this game, but you won't be able to dodge roll, you won't be able to ride Pokemon. You know what, I'm fine, you won't probably won't be like sneaking through the grass or anything, and like crouching and stuff, but... If they if they just made like say say like the breath of the wild movement where there's like a dodge if a if like if you could dodge only if a Pokemon attacks you rather than just ro roaming around that would be fine like I'd like it if you could like just 
freely walk around, you could jump, you could... Oh, don't see me. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, you could jump, you've got free roaming, you can, you know... When I, I think I've t I... When I pictured an open world Pokemon game, I don't think Gen 9 is going to be that, but I'm optimistic for it because they have said it's an open world game, you know, it's not going to have a lot of the combat and, you know, gameplay from this game, which is fine. I can live without it. I kind of I kind of hope they keep the, you know, throw Pokeballs without having to battle Pokemon sort of thing. Like, if I could just roam around and be like, oh, there, there's a Pokemon in the grass, uh, grass there. Boom, catch it. That'd be great, rather than have to run up to it and then battle it. So I hope they don't, like, I feel like they spent so much time refining the... The gameplay of this game of the throwing Pokemon, like so, like even to harvest items and stuff, you have to throw Pokemon at it. Like they spent so much time refining and making throwing items and Pokeballs and Pokemon feel really, really good. I don't think they're gonna get rid of it. So I, again, I hope they don't get rid of it. Ooh, okay, I almost died there. That's not good. All right, let's go and get these Bronzors. Hello, Bronzor. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, don't also break out because you'll battle me because every single time I've had to try and catch these guys. Yep, there we go. As soon as one breaks out, the entire pack just turns on you. All right. Oh, whoops. There we go. <laughs> hey, all four of them, good. All right, uh, you firefang them. Yeah, I'm optimistic for Gen 9. I really, really am. And it's coming out late 2022, so... I don't know, maybe this video will be out before the games come out, because I would kind of love to kind of do like a playthrough of it, because like when this game came out, I was still in the middle of the Photonic Sun playthrough, and I didn't want to interrupt those uploads for Legends Arceus. In fact, I'm still in the process of um, filming and editing um, Photonic Sun. Like, before I recorded Legends Arceus today, I only just defeated Hapu in the final um, Kahuna battle. That's... <laughs> I'm like 30 plus episodes into this series and I, I'm falling I'm falling behind on filming and um, editing Photonic Sun because I just love playing this so much. Like, there's something about this game that's so much fun. From just shiny hunting to exploring and that's kind of... The shiny hunting thing is like kind of hope they keep the same concept for Gen 9 because going back to normal shiny hunt sucks compared to this. It's not even the faster rate, it's just that having to run into a Pokemon, battle it, run in, encounter a Pokemon, have the animation play, is it shiny? No, okay, leave. Having to use the shiny radar or the, um, what's it called? The pokey radar is like so slow compared to this game where you just jump on a jump on a Pokemon and just run around and you can harvest resources or you can look for um, look for the uh, bandits and battle them you know you can have specific spots that you like you know lay out a path that you like to go through and harvest resources while looking for shiny Pokemon like I love the Poke Radar method for the short time that I used it you know I got shiny Benary that I wanted I got shiny routes that I wanted. I got a Bidoof from it. But going back, which I've tried to do, it's like, pew, there's a Garchomp, okay. It's kind of painful how slow it is and how unfun it is. Because there's just something about this game and this gameplay that's so much fun. And that's why I keep playing it. And that's why people are praising this game as something new. And, oh no, the rain's about to clear up, you know what, all right, get out here. We just gotta battle them, we can kill them faster than um, we can catch them. Good job, Apollyon, good job. Come on, you cowards, come on, gather up, gather up. I, I know I'm talking about Gen 9 stuff and I said I wasn't going to do it, but it's like, I'm excited for it. You know, we don't know anything about it yet, which 
you know, other than the art style, like, I don't like the character models. A lot of people really don't like the character models. It doesn't look like Pokemon. It looks like... It just looks strange, like their faces. Like, the design is fine. It's clearly a really, really young design of the trainers. It, like, set in Spain, and it looks like it's primary school sort of clothing. Which, you know, Pokemon has always been about, you know, young trainers going out and exploring the world. And that's fine, it's just they look way too young compared to recently. But then, I guess they kind of started going to going young again after um, Black and White and um, X and Y. Feels like Hilbert, Hilda, um, Calum and Serana were kind of the last kind of mature sort of early teen sort of designs because uh Celine and um the other one the sun and moon protagonist look really really young the let's go P protagonist look really really young um even the gen 8 stuff like victor and gloria they still look young they look much younger than hilda and gloria which is fine it's just their designs looked pokemon the faces on the new protagonists really don't look like Pokemon and their kind of designs are really really bland they're just school uniform looking things in fact they are school uniforms they have like ties on and shirts and you know little blazers on well do they have blazers I don't know I think they've got blazers they've got like a little crest on their jacket or whatever it's just it doesn't it doesn't look the face is the thing that I have the problem with honestly if they, like, make the faces look better, that's fine. They can add customization and they can change how they look. And that's great. Found the Pokemon that report. Oh, that's right, there was an outbreak here. I thought I was going to, um... Where? There it is. I was trying to go to this camp. <laughs> Hello, my. I'm not going to talk to you down there. I'm talking to you here instead. Good work at there. It seems we might have learned something we can gain from the Highlands from now. Oh, hi, Adamant. Hey, Adamant's back. Hell yeah. There you are, you two. You're invest I hope your investigation's going all right. We're doing great now that you're here. I have folks in our clan and the Pearl Clan are all helping investigate the massive mass outbreaks, or whatever you call them. And although I think... And I thought, what kind of leader would sit back and do nothing while you're all working? So I figured I'd grab whatever supplies I could and come handy for you. Here, materials for those sticky glob things. Why? I don't need them. Oh my god, you can make a- wow, wow, okay, thank you! How leader-like of you, Adamant. Don't make fun of me, my. You must understand me, Adamant, as the, sis as the sister who helped raise you, I'm truly proud to see how far you've become. Oh, your, si your brother and sister? Huh. Listen, Miki, I've been wondering. Do you think this massive man outbreak could be some sort of trial from Mighty Dialga? Or Mighty Palkia? Where's the option for no? Because they're they're in um they're in gay baby jail. They're in my pasture in back in Jubilee Village. They can't do anything. Um, sure, I guess. Kind of feels like it, right? If someone's telling us if you got the guts to face a real test with your partners, take on these Pokemon. Otherwise, stand back. Quite like to see, quite like you to see it that way, Adamant. Yeah, well, I'd love to stay and talk, but now I've got an appointment to keep with that Benny fellow. I've been trying to get him to teach me his tricks. You mean his ninja skills? I want to know what his recipes and his ninja tricks. Once I do, I'll give you the proper demonstration. In the meantime, stay safe. Ah, uh, thank you, Adamant. He really has massive Prince Sidon energy from um, Breath of the Wild. My, my, it seems that having trusted partner causes one to view these outbreaks in a rather different light. Now then, the Alabaster Island still await one more steep hurdle for us to overcome. Munch. <laughs> Munch. <laughs> if it's Munch like it's easy to continue as well. We'll wait for you at Jubilee's front gate as usual. Well, I got some unknowns to find here. Hey, that was 100. Wow, okay. All right, so we got unknown F and J. There goes the rainstorm. All right, unknown F and J. Q, R, R, E, L, M, A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. Uh... A stony, um, 
a stony out a stony outcrop um over pools of mud all right well that is back over here hey look at that already had a waypoint there perfect oh wait isn't this yeah this is where i had the stamp okay so maybe maybe i put the stamp there because i found it on my own and I for oh wait hang on wait a second wait a second I'm starting to remember I'm starting to remember I think that it was in here and this is why I couldn't see where it was before yes there it is yep look at that right there it was in here all along I can't get to it uh oh goodbye 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 uh oh goodbye no no, 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 out. No, no. Uh, Sneasler, climb. Bravery. 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 Ow. No, don't kill me. Uh. Don't mind me, 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 don't mind me. Screw you, Bronzos. Now I remember where it was. <laughs> Alright, so this is, I think, Jay. I was confused, I was like, why did I put a star there? But I remember I remember now I was riding through here and I was like I think I just thought, I haven't looked for unknowns in here. And I flew around with bravery and I just happened to see it up in the corner there. Alright. How do I like Cause it won't let me ride bravery in here. Oh, wait, yes it will if I do this. Uh, there we go. Ah, uh, no, no, no! Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Ow, goodbye. Um. Uh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I can't, I can't ride a Pokemon. I'm not going to die in here, I swear. I can survive. Shut a bottle. What is the best way to get... Like, I can't seem to ride Pokemon. Um... Can I, like... Yeah, it won't let me ride a Pokemon if I'm on this rock. So how do I get that, then? Uh, uh, uh... How do I get up there? Um. Huh. You can't throw a Pokemon off its back. You also can't really climb up. Oh, you probably have to use an air ball, right? Yeah, you probably have to use an air ball, so... Can I craft any of them? Hold on. I know I did just get rid of a bunch of supplies before I started recording. Um. Doesn't look like I have the supplies to make any. Uh, yeah, I need Sky Tumble Stone. Well, I know there are some Sky Tumble Stones nearby. There we go. No fall damage. Perfect. Like a pro. Yep, there's some Sky Tumble Stones. Let's just go mine that for me. Thank you. I only need one, but you've given me... Whoa, I got a Dawn Stone from that. Hell yeah! <laughs> All these things have respawned. That's annoying. I love you, Bronzor. I really want a shiny Bronzor, but you're so annoying in this game. Bronzor and Bronzong just putting you to sleep every time you pass is just... Ugh. Alright, let's craft... I can make two. Uh, I don't think they fly any further if you make better ones, so... Alright. We got two shots. First one. Ugh. Hey, first try. Perfect. Let's get out of here and then we'll head up to the waypoint. There we go. It said stony outcrop, so it's probably on top of these rocks, which means there's like two unknowns right by each other. So 
whatever developers were like putting down these unknowns, they should have really uh, spoke to each other. Because you've got two in the same spot. Yep, there it is, right there. Hello. Let me just... There we go. Uh, Pokeball, Pokeball, Pokeball. So much junk on me. There we go. No! Alright then. Can I use the glitch and climb? No. Can I? No. Alright, Sneasler. Get. There we go. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. And then... Ah, there we go. Perfect. Can we get out of here? Perfect. Uh, Alright. Let's remove that and that. I can remove that because that's where... Um... Uh, what's her name? Wanda? Yes, Wanda. That's where Wanda was. We got J and F, which means the Alabaster Icelands are the last ones we need to find. And there are four there. I found one on my own, so... It just means there's... Oh, I've got to catch ten Garchomps? Jeez, okay. That's going to be kind of annoying. Although I suppose it's not too bad now with the massive outbreaks. Alright, uh, hello there, my... Don't mind me, I'm just going to dump some stuff off first. Uh, giving me a hundred of that. Caster phones are great because I don't... I think I think they're giving you sticky globs because the, you have a chance to get alpha outbreaks and sticky globs can, I think, stun alphas. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go to there. That's fine, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think Sticky Globs can actually stun Alphas. I just kind of use Mud Balls, because why not? I can get them from the Cobalt Coastlands in the little cave near the Molten Arena. Colt here seems to cut right through you. All right, bye, Munchlex. No! <laughs> what are you two doing here? Oh, I hate these both these characters. Yo, dude, I, I, I came here to I came here to the massive mass outbreaks here in Alabast Island, dude. They seem different than the others, dude. The outbreaks happening during rainstorms and other areas, but this seems to be tied to a blizzard. I mean, yeah, it's a snowy area. It could just be the cold environment, yeah. Well, there's more to it. We should look into the mass. We should look into more outbreaks than usual this time. Uh, sure. I know increasing the scope of investigation, a lot to ask at this point. Oh, dude, if someone of your skill, you can do this. You must have like a hundred victory royals, dude. You're so good. It's a good thing I'm here to help you, then, isn't it? And I suppose Leanne might be of some use. Uh, how do I tell you both to go away? One I don't like, the other one I hurt my voice. This will be the first time investigating these outbreaks for you two, won't it? Try not to outstrain yourselves. Yo, dude, I'm so good! I'm gonna... Miki is just good at free areas. Meanwhile, Slicko and I'll handle the remaining. There's something wrong with the math here, little man. You left out the, me out of the equation. You can do basic math, can't you? I learned it in high school. I know how to subtract you from this assignment, for starters. I will finish the remaining areas on my own. You won't need to factor in. I can't tell if they hate each other or they're both enjoying this. Either way, they, I, imagine, I imagine they never would have crossed paths if it hadn't been for you. Oh, don't blame me for this. That's not fair. Hey! There you are. Yeah, yeah, hey Munchlax, eat up. Thank you. Um, hmm. Which ones do we want to... Wait, Magby's up here. Wow, okay. I suppose we'll go for Swine Up first. We'll go for Swine Up, then Curlier, then Curlier, and then these three down here for the last ones. Because, I mean, getting a Shiny Curlier would be nice. It means I could get a potential... Um, Shiny Gardevoir or a shiny, um, uh, what's the other one? Gallade, that's the one. 
Poor Gallade, nobody remembers you. How is it up there, though? What? How? Oh, there's like a... Wow, oh, okay, I didn't realise you could go up this high. I don't think I've ever been up this high, have I? Oh no, it's in the cave, right? It is, it's in the cave. Oh, okay. Whee! Ho ho ho! Alright, down we go. I imagine there's probably an unknown in this cave, because it seems like it's ah, uh, it seems like it's a place they would hide them. Let's see. Hello. Alright, pickable time. They're only level 30, so hopefully they don't break out. Hello. No, out. There. Come on. No. Come on, just get caught, guys. Come on. Ow. No, there's two of them now. Uh, 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 there we go. Alright, uh, five hang it. That's fine. Bye bye, Pilo Swine. Where did that go? Over here. Can I just make you flee? You flee if I just stay close to you? Right? Alright, let's get rid of that first. Alright, Pilot Swine, take a fire thing. Perfect. Alright. There we go. Alright, this one is now cleared out. There we go. I was waiting for it to break out and I had to turn around. <laughs> That's why I didn't, like, speed off. Uh, Alright, Curlia is next. I know Curlia can flee when it sees you, so this should be pretty fast to clear out. Whee! And then the blizzard shows no sign of stopping anytime soon. Well, good. I got Pokemon to find. Man, the lock-on really kind of messes up sometimes, where it's like, you have to manually adjust above, like, them to counter in the, um, distance sometimes. It's really annoying. Hey, God of War. Uh-oh. Get caught. Get caught. God of War broke out. That's all right. Should be able to just go like that. Ow. That, like, homing missile me. There we go. All right, that one's done. Uh, let's go check out this one. I believe I read star means that it spawns a second wave. Like, it's not a guaranteed shiny, even though it's like kind of looks like the shiny symbol. It's just that they will spawn. I believe, I think it means that it spawns an alpha wave, which uh, it's probably going to spawn like a bunch of alpha gallades, which is going to be pretty scary, but we'll check it out. Why not? There's the match. Oh, there's a match amp down there. Cool. But I'm going to ignore the match because I already have a shiny match up from this game. To me, I'm like, oh, if I've already caught a shiny Pokemon, then I just don't care about getting multiple duplicates. Uh, you are down here. Perfect. I can hide in the grass. No. Come on. Stay still. Wow, that's a really, really tiny one there. Oh, wow, perfect angle. Get caught. That's it. Come closer. Come closer. Thank you. Thank you. Get caught. Oh, did I miss it? I missed it. Damn. There we go. We're going to keep... Oh, you are still spawning. Wow, okay. There we go. Hey, um... You guys want some raspberries? Here you go. Come on, come over, come over, it's safe, I promise. Okay, there's still one over there somewhere. Sorry I lied, it wasn't safe. Where'd you go? There you are. Get caught. I'm gonna stay here and watch you, so that way I don't have to run back. Yeah, see, look at that. No, flee, are you gonna flee? No, you're not going to flee. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Whoa, both of them broke out. Okay. Want to flee? 
No, you're not going to flee. Okay. Do you want to flee? No, you're not going to flee either. Really? Do you want to get caught, please? There you go, backstrike. All right, that's going to be caught. So let's go hide in the grass for the alpha outbreak. No, really? <laughs> Fine, I'll battle you. You're just going to flee now, aren't you? No, you're not. Okay, good. You deserve to die for this. All right, into the grass. Duck, 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 duck. A new horde seems to have formed. Where? Okay, it's just a bunch of Gardevoirs. All right. They are level 62, so hopefully they don't turn and try and fight, because that would be kind of annoying. They're turning to fight, aren't they? Yes, they are. Oh, one fled. Oh, that's an alpha. Okay. Oh, whoops. I meant to, I meant to actually battle them. I forgot that I didn't have um, Pokemon selected. <laughs> Any more that want to spawn? No. Okay, so it seems like it just spawns... Um, Another four. It's not like another wave of 10 to 15. Interesting. Whoops, I missed. There we go. All right, while Snowstorm's still here, let's go check out the Bronzors again. There we go, perfect. All right. I didn't actually see like how long these like Snowstorms and there you go. It seems like it's going to clear up. I'll be able to find out when I go and edit this, how long they last for, but I don't know how long they last for right now. Feels kind of like 10 minutes, which... I mean, if you don't have to battle Pokémon, it can be really, really fast. You can clear through a mass outbreak in like a minute. So you definitely can't get to them all, unless you're like really, really efficient and fast. But I feel like this sort of system isn't meant to be like you hit every single one, you just hit the ones that you want. Especially because you have to like pay berries to see what Pokemon are in them in the first place. It's kind of like paying berries is the luxury to see what Pokemon they are. But if you don't pay berries, you just go to whichever ones you go to whichever ones and just stay at whichever ones you find interesting. But you can get the starters in the outbreaks, and you can get Spiritomb in an outbreak, which was um, apparently super, super rare before. So, you know, on, um, ooh, Bronzong. Okay, I don't like battling Bronzong. In the Crimson Mylands, you can get a, um, well, you can potentially get a shiny uh, Spiritomb. I was trying to think if Spiritomb had, like, an evolution, but... I don't know why I thought I was trying to think if Spiritomb had an evolution. I feel like Spiritomb should at least get like a me I, really, I was going to say I really hope Spiritomb gets a Mega Evolution, but then I'm like, oh yeah, Mega Evolution doesn't exist anymore. They re I really hope they bring it back. They bring, they've, they've had gimmicks like Z-Moves, Gigantamax, um... Now, I think they're the only gimmicks. Gen Gen 6 added Mega Evolution. Gen 7 kept Mega Evolution and added Z moves. Gen 8 removed Z moves and Mega Evolution. They, they need to just bring it back. It made like a lot of Pokemon useful. And it's like, why why wouldn't you bring it back? Ooh, hello. They can't really say, oh, it's to keep competitive Pokemon um you know interesting because Competitive Pokemon has never been interesting. It's the same, like, eight Pokemon everybody uses because they're statistically the best Pokemon. And if you ever watch, like, competitive Pokemon battles, it's always, like, four of the six Pokemon in each team are duplicates of the other team. Most of the time, it's six of six. You know, they, they promote these, like, Pokemon tournaments and blah blah blah, but it's like they're not interesting to watch. Oh, I don't think they're interesting to watch. I'm sure some people find them interesting to watch, but it's like it's the same Pokemon. It's like wait, where am I going? It's that way. Hello? Any shinies? No. Uh you guys battle, so do I really want to waste time here? 
I'm gonna get stunned, thank you. You know, if I can just maybe like speed through this, fine. No, probably not. Lock onto you, thank you. Um no, not them. There we go, it ended. Never mind. I'm not staying, sorry. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, they can't they can't really say we haven't brought back, back Mega Evolution to keep competitive Pokemon interesting because it's never been interesting. If you bring back Mega Evolution, it's like it just adds like maybe three or four potential Pokemon to be used rather than having like Groudon and Landorus and Tornadus or whatever the Pokemon are. Yeah, I checked the areas. Hey, hello, I've got a room for Melly too. She says he's about to wrap things up. Leanne said he and Melly worked together to investigate the last outbreak. Ah, But then, it seems we're done here. You've worked tirelessly to investigate all across this Sui. We still don't know what caused the massive mass outbreaks and the pose they threat to anyone with a strong partner at their side. It'd be nice if these outbreaks didn't put anyone in danger, but things rarely work out that easily. Perhaps these outbreaks are someone's way of telling us we must better understand the Pokemon which we share vast Hisui. Yeah, I can get behind that idea. So that's it, there's no like explanation for it. There's no there's no explanation of why Munchlax is used to find out what? You're really not gonna explain anything? It's just like eh, yeah, it's a new feature. Have fun guys. Ah. Oh. Pokemon, come on. Well, we're not going to get the unknowns here, I guess. Although I'm, I might be able to return and do them real quick. Oh, I'm back in the Fieldlands, okay. Maybe they are going to explain things. This is the place. And we picked the perfect time. What's happening? What do you think? Uh, it's 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 all right, I guess. This lovely space given to us by mighty Palkia. In this fleeting time, mighty Dialga gave us such a beautiful view is only possible because we have both together. Oh, they learn to understand one another. So he means so much to me. My love for it is as vast as the land itself. Tell me, Miki, did you enjoy surveying the land once again? Uh, yeah. Is that supposed to be like, hey trainers that stopped playing this game, did you enjoy exploring it again? Was it? I suppose it's always thrilling to have a mystery to delve into, I enjoyed it too. I heard these massive outbreaks trigger some kind of reaction in your Munchlax, Mai. Is he doing alright? He seems fine, Pokemon are mysterious creatures to us. Who's to say how he does it? I'm just grateful. You're not going to explain it? Really? That reminds me, I spread the word that the, the people of Sui should be on alert for massive outbreaks during rainstorms. Thanks for that, Irida. Hopefully no poor souls will wander into the unprepared after take a beating. Seems our lives are going on to keep on changing and we'll keep adapting just as fast. An ever-changing Hisui. Tell me, Miki, how do you think the future of pe people of Hisui will live with Pokemon? Uh, they're battling gyms. They won't any contest. Contests suck. In gyms? What is a gym? Why would you battle in one? <laughs> you say that place where you can challenge a skilled p p battler to prove your medal? Interesting. I think I'd, I'd like to be the one who deems a challenger worthy. Well, I'm sorry. You're probably you're most likely May's ancestor, so you're the one doing the your ancestor's the one doing the battling, not the gym challenger accepting the battling. Well, whatever may come in the future, aren't we lucky you were born in such a fascinating, fast changing time? You said it. There's no, not that change is always good, and there'll always be people who don't want change at all. But hey, that's just life. We'll work hard to push on. I'm glad we have you with us, Miki. Thank you for everything. You certainly have some curious ideas, but I suppose that's no surprise coming from someone who fell out the sky. We may have finished our investigation for now, but Munflax and I will continue to help you wherever we can. I mean, thanks, but can you explain why? You know, Miki, perhaps these new outbreaks truly are just a gift from Almighty Sinnoh. Gift meant for you, for all the good change you've brought across here in Hisui. 
That's a nice scene. It's kind of ruined by the terrible, terrible graphics, you know? 102 Daybreak. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, so that was the Daybreak update. That wasn't too bad. I mean, they introduced the system for a new type of outbreaks. That's fine. Oh, hang on, there's more. Hi. Welcome back, Miki. Fine work with your surveying. Pardon the impotion, but will you follow me to the training grounds? Yeah, I'm glad they introduced the new system. The old system isn't gone. It's just a new system on top of that, which is good. Um, Oh, it's Komodo. What was your voice again? I called you here for one very specific reason. I wish to have you try your hand at a new form of Pokemon battles. I used to think that Pokemon were terrifying creatures. You've helped me see otherwise. Thanks to you, there are some beings in this village who now enjoy battling with Pokemon. More and more of us see Pokemon as allies. I suppose he wouldn't be angry now. I mean, he's, he's going to keep an angry voice, but he'd be happy. He'd be like, it's for that very reason I would like you to continue further your trailblazing. I believe that taking part in a new form of battle will help us deepen our understanding of Pokemon. In the midst of this tough battle, what is your partner desire? What is your opponent thinking? I believe you have the ability to sense these things and we'll do our best to learn as well. It's quite a difficult request I have for you, but I'm sure you're up for the challenge. You may ask Ingo here for more detailed explanation. I leave the rest to you, Ingo. Please let me know when you're ready to try your hands at these new battles. New battles? I think I'm going to save that for next time, but didn't I just talk about how I kind of hope that if they add DLCs, they kind of like expand the idea of people understanding Pokemon battles? Like, I still think that, oh wow, there's three outbreaks, look at that. Well, I guess I'm going to go to one of these after I stop recording, but again, I still feel like this area that's unexplored even in the Gen 4 games could really be used as like some sort of like area or maybe maybe they change they actually bring the battle resort area back and be like this is where a civilization of people who understand pokemon battles and they have their own sort of battle um tower set up where you can just do battles yeah i still think that you know these four areas covered in clouds probably will be dlc i don't know if it's going to be a battle specific dlc but i feel like that's the evolution especially after this update but um Yeah, this was this was a good update. I think this was a good update. I like that they introduced this new system. They um they tried to tie a story to it, but then the story um they never they they tied a story to a new system and then they didn't explain the story or anything about it. Like if they just introduced the new system and then that was it, that's fine. But because they tied a story to it, and then they didn't tell you through the story why this new system is happening, they would or why Munchlax can detect them. It's like, why tie a story to it in the first place then? Why not just add it in and then just add a few new requests? Wait, I've got no room? Oh my god, I've got 999 iron chunks. Wow, okay. Oh my god, I didn't realize they fully stacked. Can I not um, make a separate stack? Um... Yeah, I can't. I can't pick them up like I can those. Oh, I can. Yes. No mind. They can't. They can't be a separate stack. Okay. Wow. Okay. But um, I'm gonna go check out some of these outbreaks on my own. See if I can get a shiny. Maybe at some of them, or yes, one of them. If I do, I will let you know. But uh, that's the end of this episode. I suppose next episode we're gonna go back to the Icelands, searching for um, the unknowns, and we'll go to Al go to the Obsidian Fieldlands and find Wanda. And I also want to go get the Lake Guardians. So until then.